Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Nerdy Adventures of Dell. I am Dell, and thank you so very much for stopping by my channel today. And if you can't tell, I have a little plastic head in my hand on a stick. It's a head on a stick! <laughs> um, yeah, but anyways, today I'm going to be con continuing, if I can't stop stuttering, <laughs> I'm going to be continuing my exclusive to YouTube custom figure, which I do have a name for now. I'm just not ready to reveal it yet. I will re reveal it closer to the finish of the figure. Today I'm going to be working on the head. This head sculpt right here was an Anna J head from AEW and the body was a Dr. Britt Baker DMD. Uh, unmatched Dr. Burt Baker and the head was unrivaled Anna J. So without further ado let me get into it. Um, let me see what I want to do first. I want to do hair or skin. I have an idea for the head the mouth section that I want to do but I think for that I might need Warbler haven't decided yet. So I think I'm just going to go with the hair for now. And what I'm going to do is take this over here and um, move it closer. As you can see, the torso is on the, the clip tree. And uh, I haven't finished the torso yet, so I might finish that while the head dries. So. What I'm going to do is clip the head onto the tree, like so. Kind of, I need it up and down, so I'm going to bend it. And I do apologize if this video is boring at this point, but hopefully it's going to be a little insightful. I may not know the best way to do it, but it's the way that makes sense to me, and that's okay. If any of you have pro tips that can help me do these things better, and if you see I'm doing things a hard way and there's an easier way for you, me to do it, please share it down in the comments. I am more than willing to be schooled if it's constructive criticism. If it's bashing, however, I'm just going to ignore it. Or make up a sarcastic response. I don't need bashed. No one really does need bashing. So, yeah. I'm going to go with the hair first. And I'm going to do a deep red and a fluorescent red. And there's a reason why I'm doing fluorescent red with the deep red. I'm going to try my best to make it like a glowy color. If that makes any sense, I want it to like pop. So yeah, I'm gonna try to make it uh, sort of glow. And I think I'm gonna move the camera just a little bit closer. And tilt it down just a little bit. And let me see, I need a tray. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I probably should have done this out of camera. I mean off camera before the video started but I didn't think about it <laughs> to be perfectly transparent just gonna go ahead and place one drop in there try to swirl it up and save that drop put that down put one drop of fluorescent red in there Oof. getting stuck to the tube don't want that no! There we go. Clip what Dell says, be careful with the paint, Dell. You need to conserve that. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm just goofing around. I make up voices to entertain myself, and hopefully it's entertaining for you. Um, I hope. It's not like completely, wow, this dude's crazy, let's click off, no, please don't. Please understand that I'm just having fun. And I'm hopefully having fun 
in a positive way and it's not driving anybody away. So I'm going to mix up the colors. Mm, I want it to be a little bit brighter. So what I'm going to do is actually add some ah, more fluorescent red. And uh, hopefully, oops, swipe the, the ink. Press. Oh, my bad. Oh, that's too much, I think. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get off the tube. There we go. This is going to be boring, probably. But it's a necessary part of the process. And hopefully you guys can get some insight on how to mix the paint that I am using. If you like this color, feel free to create it for yourself. That's pretty cool. If I can inspire someone to create, that's awesome. Um, for, with, with that said, I want to point out that art is a very therapeutic thing and skill to know and learn. So if any of you are out there having trouble with coping or just going through a really tough time, try art. Art is literally something that is saving my life. And I won't go too much into detail because I don't want to be depressing. <laughs> but yeah, it's 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 really changed my life for the better and it's literally saved my life. I am an artist. Um, I don't know if you watch this video and are a frequent viewer, but I do post art. And I'm thinking about incorporating more of my art into the channel. So if you're into art, you know, let me know down in the comments. If you want to see me do some more uh, painting type things in the channel. I'm more than willing to accommodate the viewer's requests, if I can. Um, but yeah, I think this is a good color. Hopefully you can see it. And it shows up right. I like that shade of red. It's basically three parts fluorescent red to one part deep red. Let me see. I think it's deep red. Yeah, deep red from Artist Loft. I'm not sponsored by Artist Loft, by the way, or Liquitex. But I like their paints. And, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling because I think it's going to be getting boring at this point. Let me just rinse off the stick. Rinse off the stick, Dale. Rinse off the stick. Oops. It's not really rinsing. Oh, well. Just set it over there. And, yeah. What I'm going to do is kind of start with the back. Because I think it's going to be easier. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I need to choose the right brush, which I will choose this brush. Because I think it's going to cover better. And I do want the brush to be wet. So I can apply a thinner coat of paint because it's going to help it cover better. That's what I have found at least is that thinner coats actually cover better. So we shall see. Ooh, little too wet, little too wet. Stab it off just a little bit, get some more paint. Now, I am in no way, shape, or form a professional customizer. It's just a hobby of mine. Um, yeah. But if you want to learn how to do this more professionally, there are lots of professional YouTubers that are really good and a lot better than me. One, um, I'd like to shout out Mad Reaper Studios. I really got back into customizing because of Mad Reaper. Um, 
he seems like a really chill dude. And he does a lot of wrestling customs. So I'm a very big into wrestling fans, which obviously these are wrestling figures that I'm customizing. But yeah. I don't know if y'all can tell, but the paint is going on very thin, and that's what I'm looking for. I want it to go on thin so it can um, go on better and sh keep some of the detail in the hair. That's why I thin down my paint and get the brush wet. Because to me, it's better to incorporate multiple thin coats versus one thick, cloppy coat. I have to be very careful right here because I don't want to get it on the skin on her actual face. So I think I'm actually going to just leave that thin strip of white around the face only because I can go in with a detail brush later. And that's going to be the best thing to do for me right now is just focus on the bottom and try my best not to get the face because if I get the face with this color it's going to be a pain in the rear end to try to cover up so I'm just going over with thin coats and going from there because thin coats are better to do you'll end up getting a better paint job with thinner coats and as you can see, I only dipped the brush in the paint one time, and it's covering pretty much the whole hair. Oof, missed a spot there, Dell. I like to talk to myself when I do these videos because awkward silence is really not cool, and it keeps me focused. Let me see. Be a little daredevil. Hmm. <laughs> try. Just give it a good old college try there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just leave it like that. Um, maybe get a little more paint. Just a dab. Go over here. And, uh,. In just a second, I'm going to put the paint down, I mean, put the brush down and shout out the YouTube video that I'm listening to right now. It is copyright free music, so if you like the tunes, and here in a minute I'm going to shout out the channel. Once I get a better coat. And this is not going to be Ariel from Little Mermaid. And I'm realizing that it's starting to look like Ariel from Little Mermaid. Which I'm not thrilled about. But in the end result, it's not going to be anything like Ariel. This is going to be more of a villain character. Since I don't really have very many villains for my project that I'm going to be working on. Which you shall learn more in future videos. Hopefully I can pull it off. But yeah. Now that I put that down. I'm going to shout out the channel. It is. Dark Sergi LD. I think. Is how you pronounce it. D-A-R-K-S-E-R-G-I-E-L-D. That's D-A-R-K. S-E-R-G-I-E-L-D on YouTube. And it's three hours of music, no copyright, best music, gaming music video. So if you like the tunes, search that and you'll find them. Okay, now, in previous videos I have mixed up paint. And I just put it in this bottle. And, um, yeah. I'm just going to shake it up and pour a little bit into the opposite section because I am going to work on the top. Ooh, that's an interesting color. 
combination. It kind of swirled. I don't know if you can tell. But it's like a silver -y purple with black. Interesting. Oof. wasn't mixed well enough. I need to shake, 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 shake it up. Whoa. Shake, 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 senora. Just kidding. Um, yeah. But I'm gonna work on the torso now. After I mix up. Oof. Nerdy Dell. Come on, dude. Let me just mix this up a little bit so it's more of a single color. I don't want, I don't want to be striped. So, leave that down. I'm gonna need a smaller brush. Which one do I want? I want this one. I'm gonna use this brush for the torso, because I'm pretty much done with most of the parts. I finished the waist and the legs. I still need to work on the upper body, but I might as well finish the torso. I mean, I finished the hips, sorry. So let's go ahead and work on the torso a little bit. And yeah, see if we can knock that out. Oof, it's coming off the tip. Not good. Let's see, let's do this. That way I can turn it better. Hopefully you guys can see this. I haven't done one of these videos in quite a while. I did most of the figure like a couple months ago, or like a month ago, sorry. And uh, took a break to recharge my creative ideas and work on fleshing out the idea for this figure better. So yeah, I think I just need one last coat. And I forgot to dip it in the water. Whoopsie. But at least it was mostly done anyways, so it doesn't matter too much. And yeah, I think after this coat, I'm going to call the torso done. So we are knocking out the torso today and starting on the hair for the figure. And she's going to be a villain, like I said. But one thing I will reveal at this point is she is going to be... How to put it a teeth thief I think it's not finalized but I think I want her to be a teeth thief kind of like an antithesis for a tooth fairy tooth fairies take your teeth and leave money she just robs you of your teeth I think that might be a unique villain maybe not a major villain but that's okay. I'm still working on that though. It could change by the time I finish this figure. Which has been a while, to be honest. There. I think that's good enough. What do you think? And I like how it shimmers. That's pretty dope. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I don't see any gaps. And like I said in the previous video, is she is going to have, she's supposed to have kind of undulating skin. So her skin will actually undulate. Or how to put it. Her skin color will kind of change as she moves. And she is going to be kind of like a cross between a Dragon Ball Majin and a Marvel Symbiote. I'm going to try my best to kind of fuse those two concepts together and create my own concept out of it. 
But, with all that said, this is all I can do for today because I have an appointment to make. So, thank you for watching this video. We knocked out the torso and got started on the head sculpt. And I hope you at least found this video instructive on how to paint properly. And with that said, thank you for watching. Peace out and take care, y'all.